Uh, am I crazy? I don't know. Um, I don't think so. I mean, obviously not. I wouldn't be putting so much of my own money into it. Um, but that's, that's, what we'll, that's what time will tell. Um, I mean, I really do think that this, this, this trend towards experiential travel is really happening. I really think a lot of people uh, bel believe in this. They live their life that way, and there's not really anything speaking to them. And I think that a magazine is really the best way to, to really help identify those people and, and, and feed them through, uh, we were just talking about this, and I think that, that um, the stories, the pictures, the, the, the portability, the controlling of the pacing, you're able to really, uh, I, can, I can get into the story, and, and, you know, a 3,000 word story, and really you know, get some of the charge that I get out of a travel, out of a story. Um, that, that I just can't get through any other experience. And um, so I think it's, print is a great way for, uh, to, inspire, to inspire the readers and to give them ideas on ways to travel. I, I don't think it's the greatest resource. I think that's why I want, the, you know, I want the web to really be the resource side, the, where people go when they, when they want to get very specific about you know, where to stay and you know, what to do. And, you know, really, you know, we're really about the connection and the, and the uh, is going to be on the web and the resource side. And the, and the magazine's more on the inspiration, the, uh, the vibe, the ethos, the really, the, you know, the, the really creating the brand and the, and, the, and the movement. It's really, and I think, I think magazine's a great place for that. Thank you.